بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اهلا بكم في محاضرة جديدة وفيديو جديد لقناتنا English for Arabs نهاردة ان شاء الله هناخد الوحدة الثالثة How often do you exercise هناخد النص الاولاني والفيديو ده بيتضمن اول جزء معاني الكلمات معاني بالانجليش وبالعربي ولان اهم حاجة ان الطالب يحفظ الكلمات بالانجليش مش بالعربي لو الكلمة مش عارف معناها عليه ان هو يبص على المعنى بالعربي ويرجعه تاني يحفظه بالانجليش ويحط الكلمة في جملة عشان يستخدمها بعد كده ده مهم جدا الجزء التاني هيكون عبارة عن شرح الوحدة unit 6 exercise from 1 to 6 or 1 to 7 هيبقى اول نص الوحدة اللي هنشرحه وهيكون في الجزء بتاع الجرامر عن adverbs of frequency الجزء دوت هيكون مشروح بالpowerpoint ودول التلات أجزاء اللي هناخدهم النهاردة إن شاء الله بإذن الله wish you all good luck please remember to subscribe لو عجبكم الفيديو ما تنسوش تعملوا اشتراك في القناة let's start Unit 6 How often do you exercise? Often T of D 1 Often Exercise Volleyball Soccer O A sa sa Soccer Football Basketball ja Jogging Jogging O A in American Jogging Walking quickly Walking British walking, walking British, American walking quickly. Weight training, weight, GH silent, weight training. Lifting weights, lifting weights. Walking, softball, a sport similar to baseball. A sport similar, similar to baseball. Treadmill, a machine for walking or running. Stretching, extending or making your arms and legs longer. Stretching, extending. Exercise number two. Go plus activities in ING. Play games with a ball. Do fitness activities and individual exercises. Individual, individual exercises. Again, go plus activities in ING. Play games with a ball. Do fitness activities and individual exercises. Fitness activities. Activities T of D. Individual exercises, aerobics, yoga, aerobics, yoga, bicycling, bicycling, skating, skating, T soft T. Individual exercises. To do exercise alone. Aerobics. To go to the gym. Yoga. A game of meditation. Bicycling. Ride a bike. Skating. Skating. T soft D. To skate on ice. British skating. Baseball. Children. Kids. Teens, teenagers, young adult, young adults, youth, young adults, adults, British, American adults, youth, British, American, youth, young adults, youth, middle-aged people, 
middle-aged people in Egypt between 30 to 45 years old between 30 to 45 years old in Egypt in the USA middle-aged between 40 and 60 in the USA middle-aged between 40 and 60 exercise number three hardly ever hardly ever yeah sound here between Y and E hardly hardly ever rarely left 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 wets five times a week free time leisure spare time free time leisure leisure for spare time leisure spare time seriously really couch potato potato t soft d potato potato second t this t soft d potato lazy couch potato lazy a person who watches television and is not very active lazy couch potato not very active lazy exercise four adverbs of frequency adverbs of repetition adverbs of repetition four again adverbs of frequency adverbs of repetition how often how often t silent t silent how often how many times every day once one time twice two times always always l silent always 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 almost always almost l silent always l silent almost always usually often t silent often sometimes hardly ever hardly ever yes yeah, sound hardly ever rarely almost never almost l silent almost never 20% never 0% aerobics aerobics to do exercises gym gymnasium classmate your friend in a class classmate your friend in a class in a class make link here your friend in a class Exercise 5. Fit. Person who does exercises. Again, athlete, a person who does exercises. Five. Fit. Good athlete. A person who does. A person who does exercises. Does. D-O-E-S. Keep fit. Six. Fitness. Pull. Questionnaire. Survey. Seven. Shape. Appearance. Again. Six. Fitness. Pull. Questionnaire. Survey. Shape. Seven. Shape. Appearance. Practice the guitar. Play the guitar. Jogging. Jogging. O A. British jogging. Jogging. Walking quickly. Walking. British. Workout. Workout. Exercise. Workout. Workout. Make link between the K, K work, and out, and O oh, sound. 
work out, work out. Don't say work out, no, work out, work out, exercise. That is the end of the vocab book. Unit 6. How often do you exercise? In this unit, we'll talk about sport, activities, aerobics, the gym. Let's start. Exercise number one, snapshot. Look at the picture. What are they doing? They're playing basketball. Where is she? She is, she's at the gym. She's doing exercises. She's doing aerobics. Exercise number one, snapshot. The top five sports and fitness activities in the United States, in the USA. What are the first sports and fitness activities? Sports. Number one, basketball, volleyball, softball, football, soccer. This is basketball, volleyball, softball, a sport. like pistol, F soccer, football, fitness activities, activities to be fit, to be athlete, weight training, weight training, lifting weights, treadmill, treadmill, stretching, stretching, extending the arms, extending, walking, Jogging, jogging, walking quickly, walking quickly. Do people in your country enjoy any of these sports or activities? In Egypt, we like to play football, soccer, volleyball, in Egypt, young men like weight training, treadmill. Check through the sports or fitness activities you enjoy. Make a list of other sports or activities you do, then compare with the class. You try to make a list and tell your friend what is the, what is the best sport or activity do you like. Exercise number two, word power, sports and exercise. Look at the picture here. We have different sports and different exercises, like swimming, playing soccer, football, playing tennis, riding bikes, bicycles, Yoga, game of meditation. Wet training, wet training, lifting wets. Inline skate. Now, which of these activities are popular are famous with the following age groups. Check through the activities, then compare with the partner. Here you have groups, groups of age, children, teens, young adults, middle-aged people, older people. Children, kids, three years old, four years old, until 10 or 11 years old. Teens, 12, 13, until 19, from 13 to 19 years old. 
young adults 20 20 to 35 middle-aged from 35 to 50 years old to 50 middle-aged older people from 50 60, 70, 80, 90, 80, 90. This is in Egypt. If you are 60 years old, you're in pension. In pension, you stay at home and you have a salary. You take your money on pension. Here, you have the activities, aerobics, baseball, bicycling, inline skating, bicycling to ride a bicycle, inline skating to skate, Soccer, soccer, football, swimming, tennis, weight training. This is weight training. This is weight training, lifting weights higher. Yoga, yoga, this is game of meditation. Meditation, to think of only one thing. Why? To calm your mind, to relax, to relax. This is yoga. Now, aerobics. For aerobics, children, teens, young adults. Baseball. In Egypt, not famous. Bicycling. Bicycling, children, teens, young adults. Inline skating, maybe in Sharm el Sheikh, yes, uh, children, teens, young adults. Swimming, children, teens, young adults, middle aged, older people, all like swimming. Swimming, you travel to Sharm el Sheikh, Hurghada, Marsa Matruh, Marsa Alam for swimming for having fun tennis children teens young adults middle-aged weight training lifting weights teens young adults yoga maybe middle-aged middle-aged older people b per work which of the activities above are used with do, go, or play? Now, these activities. The verb do, we use it with which one, with which word? Go and play. One minute, try to answer. Take your time. Do. Do plus what? Exercises. Do aerobics. Do it training. Do yoga. Again, do aerobics. What sound? Do aerobics. Do it training. Do yoga. Go. Verb plus ing. Go bicycling. Go swimming. Go in line skating. Go bicycling. Go swimming. Go in line skating. Play. Play plus baseball. 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 Ball. So play plus sport with ball or game with a ball play baseball play soccer play tennis play football 
play play rugby play ping pong play table tennis Exercise number three. Look at the picture. What do you see here? Young lady. She's sitting on what? What's this? She's sleeping on what? This is sofa. Couch. Couch or sofa. What's she doing? She's watching TV. She's watching TV. She had a remote control. She's watching TV. She's very lazy, not active. What about this one? What's he doing? He's practicing sport. And he's in line skating. In line skating. In line skate. So in line skating and he's very active. Exercise 3. Conversation. I hardly ever exercise. Listen and practice. Let's start to listen. CD2. Unit 6. How often do you exercise? Page 37. Exercise 3. Conversation. I hardly ever exercise. Part A. Listen and practice. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow! How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Listen again. I hardly ever exercise. Part A. Listen and practice. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow! How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. And now, let's answer some questions about this conversation. So, here, Mary and Paul are talking. They are talking about exercising. Does Paul exercise a lot? Yes. Paul is a fitness freak. Paul almost always gets up early and left sweats for an hour. Every day, he left sweats. He left sweats for an hour. Every day. Then, he often goes in line skating. In line skating. How often does Paul exercise like that? How often? How many times? How often? How many times? About five times a week. Five days in the week. What about Mary? Does Mary exercise? No. She hardly ever exercise. Hardly ever like one time in a month, like once a month. She goes to the gym once a month. I usually just, what does she do? She usually just watches TV in her free time. So Mary watches TV in her free time. What is the type of Mary? Describe Mary. She watches TV. She doesn't go to the gym. She doesn't exercise. She's a real couch potato. 
Couch potato, very lazy person, not active, staying at home watching TV, staying at home and watching TV. So Mary is couch potato. Number B, listen to the rest of the conversation. What else does Paul do in his free time? What does Paul do in his free time? Does he exercise all the time only? Does he lift weights? No. Let's start to listen to number B. 37. Exercise 3. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else does Paul do in his free time? What else do you like to do, Paul? Well, I like video games a lot. I play them every day. It drives my mom crazy. Hey, I play video games all the time, too. Well, listen, I have some great new games. Why don't we play some after class today? Okay. Well, I like video games a lot. I play them every day. It drives my mom crazy. Hey, I play video games all the time, too. Well, listen, I have some great new games. Why don't we play some after class today? Okay. What else does Paul do in his free time? Paul plays video games. He likes, he likes playing video games a lot. Is his mom happy? No. It drives his mom crazy. It makes his mother very angry. What will Paul and Mary do? Paul has new games, so they are going to play after class today in the afternoon. So Paul and Mary are going to play games afternoon today after the class. Exercise number four. Page 37. Exercise four. Grammar focus. Adverbs of frequency. How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Always. Almost always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Almost never. Never. Exercise 4. Adverbs of Frequency. Frequency, Repetition. Adverbs of Repetition. How often? How many times? How often do you? How many times? Means you do this every week, every month, every day. How often? How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. So how often? Every day. Answer. How often? How often do you exercise? I go jogging once a week. How often do you exercise? I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. So how often? Answer. Every day, once a week, twice a month, three times a year. How often do you exercise? I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. So not often, not much. This is for how often. Now let's start Adverbs of frequency. 
How often? Conversation between A. Ahmed, Muhammad, Ali. Ahmed, how often do you exercise? How often do you plus main verb? How often means how many times? How many times? How often? How often do you exercise? How often do you go to the gym? How often do you study English? Muhammad, I, verb, object. I study English every day. I study English once a week. I study English twice a week. Twice a week, two times a week. I study English twice a month, two times a month. Three times a year. This is Muhammad. Ali, I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Means I don't exercise. So how often means how many times. Easy. This is how often. Do you ever, do you ever watch TV in the evening? In the, the evening. Yes. I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. Hardly ever. Yes, sound. No, I never watch TV. Question, do you ever, ever? Answer, often, sometimes, hardly ever. Never. Sometimes can begin a sentence. Sometimes here, between subject I and the verb watch. I sometimes watch. Sometimes, the second sentence in the beginning. Sometimes I watch TV. Do you ever? Yes. I always, always 100%. L silent. I always, I always watch TV. I almost always 90%. I usually, I usually watch TV 80%. I often, I often watch TV often 60 or 70%. Often T silent. I sometimes watch TV. Sometimes I watch TV. Sometimes I don't watch TV 50%. I hardly ever watch TV. 30 or 20 percent. I almost never watch TV. 10 percent. I never watch TV. Zero. I don't watch TV. A. Okay, this is D. Weaver. D. Weaver. Question. A. Ask a question. D. Weaver. Plus main verb. D. Weaver. Play football. D. Weaver. Watch TV. D. Weaver. Do the dishes. This is Ahmed. Ask. D. Weaver. Play football? Do you ever do the dishes? Do you ever watch TV? Yes, I always, I always, I almost always, I usually, I often, I sometimes, I hardly ever, I almost never, I almost never, plus main verb. Okay, so I always play football. Yes, I often play football. Yes, I sometimes play football. Do you ever do the dishes? Yes. I hardly ever do the dishes. Yes, I almost never do the dishes. Do you ever watch TV? Sometimes I watch TV. So sometimes in the beginning of sentence. Sometimes, comma, sometimes I watch TV. Tithe number A. Put the adverbs in the correct place then practice with partner. In this exercise, you write here the adverb, okay, or the word between brackets, like ever. In which place in the sentence? Like I say, ever do or do ever or do you ever or do you play ever sports? <laughs> Where you put ever? Where do you write twice a week? Let's answer. 
One, A. Do you ever play sports? Do you ever play sports? So here, ever between you and play. Do you ever play sports? Sure, I play soccer twice a week. Twice a week at the end of the sentence, as it is. Number two. What do you? What do you usually do on Saturday mornings? What do you? What do you usually? What do you usually do on Saturday mornings? So usually between you and do. What do you usually do on Saturday mornings? Nothing much. I almost always sleep until noon. I almost always sleep until noon. So I put almost always between the subject I and the verb sleep. Three. Do you often do aerobics at the gym? Do you often? Often? Between you and do. Do you often do aerobics at the gym? No. I hardly ever do aerobics. I hardly ever do aerobics. So hardly ever between I and do. I hardly ever do aerobics. Four. Do you always exercise on Sundays? Do you always exercise on Sundays? Four. B. No. I never exercise on Sundays. I never exercise on Sundays. So never between I and the verb exercise. I never exercise. Five. What do you? What do you usually do after class? So usually between you and do. What do you usually do after class? I go out with my classmates about three times a week. I go out with my classmates about three times a week. About three times a week at the end of the sentence. This word about, not about, no, the stress on the bath sound on B. About three times a week. Three times a week. Exercise 5 Pronunciation Let's start to listen. Page 38 Exercise 5 Pronunciation Intonation with direct address Part A Listen and practice Notice these statements with direct address. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Listen again. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. In this sentence, intonation, intonation, sound up or down. At the end of the sentence, the sound is down. But here, notice these statements, these sentences with direct address, direct address, name like Paul, James, Dr. Lee, Ahmed, Muhammad. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. So here, before the name, before the comma, sound is down and you stop for short time. Pause, pause to stop for short time. You really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great. Dr. Lee. Easy. So before 
you say the name of the person, you stop for a short time, and the sound goes down. Again, you really fed Paul? She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Fitness Paul A. Group work. Take a poll in your group. One person takes notes. Then turn it asking each person these questions. In this exercise, you have fitness survey, fitness questionnaire, poll survey questionnaire. You ask the people these questions. You ask your group. One. Do you have a regular fitness program? Do you have a program to be fit? Do you go to the gym? Do you do exercises? Do you run? Do you go jogging? Jogging, walking fast, walking quickly, or running slowly. How often do you exercise? How many times do you exercise? Once a week, two times a week, twice a week, three times a week, four times a week. Question number one. Do you have a regular fitness program? Yes, I have. How often do you exercise? I go to the gym every day. Do you ever go to gym? Yes. How often? Every day. How often do you go? I go to the gym every day. What do you do there? I do aerobics. I lift weights. Three. Do you play in sports? Which ones? How often do you play them? 3. Do you play any sports? Yes, I do. I play football. How often do you play football? I play football twice a week. Two times a week. Twice a week, two times a week. 4. Do you ever take long walks? How often? Where do you go? Do you ever take long walks? Do you walk for a long time? Yes, I do. How often? Every day. I walk for an hour every day. Where do you go? I go to supermarket. I go to Hyper One or Carrefour every day and walk to the supermarket. What else do you do to keep fit? To be fit in good health. What else do you do to keep fit? I play ping pong. I don't smoke. I run to work every day. I ride a bicycle. Exercise number seven. Listening in the evening. Page 38. Exercise 7. Listening. In the evening. Part A. Listen to what Ted, Wanda, and Kim like to do in the evening. Complete the chart. So, what do you usually do in the evening, Ted? I exercise a lot. I like to go jogging after work. Yeah? How often do you go jogging? About four or five times a week. Wow.
I guess you're in great shape. Thanks. You're in great shape too, Wanda. Oh, thanks, Kim. I usually go to the gym and work out in the evenings. I love it. And I meet a lot of my friends there. How? How often do you go? About three times a week, I guess. What about you, Kim? Do you ever work out in the evenings? No, I don't exercise very much. I almost always practice my guitar after work. I practice for a couple of hours every night. Gee, you must be pretty good. Listen again and try to answer. In the evening, part A. Listen to what Ted, Wanda, and Kim like to do in the evening. Complete the chart. So, what do you usually do in the evening, Ted? I exercise a lot. I like to go jogging after work. Yeah? How often do you go jogging? About four or five times a week. Wow, I guess you're in great shape. Thanks. You're in great shape too, Wanda. Oh, thanks, Kim. I usually go to the gym and work out in the evenings. I love it. And I meet a lot of my friends there. How often do you go? About three times a week, I guess. What about you, Kim? Do you ever work out in the evenings? No, I don't exercise very much. I almost always practice my guitar after work. I practice for a couple of hours every night. Gee, you must be pretty good. Exercise 7 Answers Ted, favorite activity? Jogging after work. Jogging? Walking quickly after work. Jogging after work. How often? How many times? About four or five times a week. Ted, again, Ted, jogging after work about four or five times a week. Wanda. Favorite activity? Working out in the evenings. How often? How many times? About three times a week. About three times a week. Kim. Favorite activity? Practicing the guitar after work. Practicing the guitar after work. How often? How often? A couple of hours every night. A couple of hours every night. A couple, two. A couple of hours every night. Two hours every night. Two hours every night. Unit 6 Workbook 1. Team Sport Sport that needs groups of players Team Sport Sport that needs groups of players Individual Individual 1. Exercise 4. Karate Karate British Karate American Karate A sport of self-defense A sport of self-defense Karate A sport of self-defense Soccer Football 7. Exercise 7 Workbook Outdoors Indoors Hike Walking for long time 
walking for long time. American walking, British walking. Camp overnight. Camp overnight. Spanish related to Spain. Portuguese, Portuguese related to Portugal, related to Portugal. Racquetball, racquetball. That's the end of Unit Six, Part One. شكرا لكم. كده نكون خلصنا Unit Six, Part One. Interchange One, Unit Six. Part 1 Third Edition Thanks God Alhamdulillah Thanks for watching Don't forget to like the video And don't forget to subscribe Shukran lil mushahada Min fadlik Ishtarik fil qanaa Litasilika akhir izdaratina